Now, I know some of you work outside the office, whether that's performing an inspection or survey, operating a military base, completing a work order, or even flying a drone. And we're excited to share with you a powerful suite of apps that will bring efficiency and transformation into the hands of your mobile workforce. So to share with us these amazing apps, please welcome Chris Lasweer. Thank you, Marcella. Thank you, Marcella. I'm going to show you a few scenarios today how Arceus apps can help you to um, can help you to increase your workforce efficiency. So. The first scenario we're going to talk about is a beach remediation project in Wilmington, North Carolina. Now, many of our collector for ArcGIS runs on iOS, Android, and here you see it running on my Windows tablet. Many of you have been using Collector for years to capture data, to do inspections, but this past year has been, has been big for Collector because it now fully supports high accuracy location information coming from professional grade GPS devices. This is, this is big, and as you see in this scenario here, I'm doing a survey of ground control points along the beach, and right here from the application, we can get uh, some of this information. So it, it will tell us if we're getting centimeter level accuracy and is the number of satellites that we're seeing. Also, if I capture a point here, one of these ground control points, we can also capture the GPS metadata along with our feature and pass that along. OK, when I've finished capturing my ground control points on the beach, we'll move to the next phase of this uh, project, and that is capturing imagery with a drone. This is drone to map. And as you can see, I have my ground control points that I created with a uh, collector. I can also see the flight path that the drone, uh, the drone took, as well as these points representing the um, photos taken at a regular interval. And as I click on these, we can see the beach, as well as the homes along the shore. And these are beautiful photos, but they are, they are individual photos. And with drone to map running on my laptop, I can process these in the field and create an ortho map. So here, now I have a beautiful, seamless ortho image from those uh, photos taken from the drone. I'm going to zoom down the beach a little bit and just kind of show you the, the, the resolution that we get with this data. It really is impressive. But this is not just a pretty picture, because drone to map can also create a digital surface model, here represented as a hill shade. I'm going to pan and zoom over to this lifeguard tower. And while in the field, we can do a quick analysis. I can do an elevation profile to check the height of the tower, as well as perform volumetrics on the sand around the tower. Here showing that I've got 76 cubic meters of sand around the, the tower. The drone to map is not just for working with 2D data, because I can also look at this data in 3D, because drone to map can create a 3D mesh from my data. Now, it's amazing to me that this, this data was created using just photos and the GPS locations. It really gives us a great perspective of the beach. And this was an actual validation project. And drone to, map, uh, drone to Map passed the specification for spatial accuracy. I think we can all agree that Drone to Map is some uh, amazing technology for capturing imagery in the field. Now, for the next uh, demo, we're going to move to uh, Homestead, Florida, and a um, air reserve base there, the Homestead Air Reserve Base in southern, in southern Florida, and do a hydrant inspection. Now, typically to do a, a fire hydrant inspection, I would go to the office, I would get my piece of paper for the day, it would tell me what to do, my to-do list. Um, it would say, go to this location, perform this task. But instead, I'm going to instead use my smartphone. Here, I launch Workforce for ArcGIS, and it gives me a number of tasks to do for the day. My to-do list, sorted in priority. I'll click on the top one. It tells me where I need to go, what I need to do, and what tools to use. I can even see that as a map. When I get to that location, I hit Start. It lets the office know that I've started this project. And right here from Workforce, I can launch into another app 
to complete this. So I can launch into Navigator for ArcGIS or Collector. But in this case, I'm going to use Survey123. Survey123 is perfect for doing inspections. It's a form-centric uh, form uh, data capture app. And it has smart forms. So what's a smart form? Well, it gives me things like easy drop-downs, or in this case, if I say this is a planned test, it gives me different follow-up questions based on that answer. I can do a multiple selects, add a picture, and of course, it always captures my location. When I'm done, I simply send it off to the office and return to workforce where I can let the office know that I've finished this task and then move on to the next uh, task in my list. So that, um, that was Workforce Mobile, but there's another piece of Workforce, and that's the Worst Workforce Dispatcher app. Workforce Dispatcher is a web application, and it is for um, looking at assignments in your field. So think about it. How would you like to know the location of your staff working in the field? Well, with Workforce Dispatcher, you can see their location here on the map, as well as their status, whether they're working or on a break. I can also see assignments, assignments that have been assigned to um, individuals and some that have been completed. And right here, from this web app, I can create a new assignment. So I'll do another hydrant inspection. We will zoom into an area here by the baseball field. That's the location of my assignment, who I'm going to assign it to, give it a priority, a due date, a time, an ID number, and a brief description of what they need to do. And just like that, I've created an assignment. It's pushed to their device, and they've been notified. It's been added to their to-do list for the day. Now, what's really great about uh, Workforce is that these assignments are powered by an editable feature table in your ArcGIS organization. And that means that you can take your data and automate the process of going from a work order management system, bringing that data into Workforce. So here, I've loaded some assignments from an external system and brought it into Workforce. And we can see them on the map. You can zoom into an area and select multiple assignments. And Workforce will tell me who's the closest staff member to those assignments and their availability. And just like that, I've pushed those assignments out to that, that user, and they now can go and complete the work. So this is powerful, taking your work order management system, bringing those assignments, and visualizing them on the map, and then using location to help assign them. So today, I've shown you a few ways that ArcGIS apps can help improve your field work efficiency. Use drone to map and collector to gather information. Use Survey123 to do inspections. And use Workforce to coordinate your staff and to assign tasks, all with the help of location. Thank you. Thanks, Chris. Thanks for sharing many ways to take your GIS into the field.